<sighs> all right uh, all right so welcome to this uh, lecture for net uh, so today we will learn all about uh, the gamma function that you need for the net exam okay so gamma function so gamma function is basically uh, this integral x to the power n e to the power minus x dx and x goes from 0 to infinity this is called gamma of n plus 1 so the actual definition of gamma is uh, comes from um, complex integrals but for the purpose of net this definition is sufficient so and this integral appears uh, at many places uh, in uh, in physics so it's uh, important to uh, sort of know some properties of um, of gamma functions you know with uh, the real variables so for the net exam you need to know these following properties one is gamma n plus 1 is n times gamma n so this recursive relation is uh, important um, secondly if n is uh, a positive number so then gamma n plus 1 is n factorial so so gamma 1 is like 0 factorial that is 1 so gamma of 2 is 1 factorial 1 uh, gamma 3 is 2 factorial and so on so uh, also you should remember that gamma half is root pi so if you know gamma half you can also know gamma 3 by 2 for example gamma 3 by 2 uh, you can use this recursion relation that would be you know what so gamma 3 by 2 will be half gamma half so then you know the value of gamma half and put it there you know gamma 3 by 2 similarly you can calculate gamma uh, you know 5 by 2 with this with this relation and this relation so these three relations are necessary and sufficient for the net exam so before you you try decide to learn more about gamma functions and how it behaves for negative numbers and so on it's important that you know these three so I have not not seen that in, in that exam they have ever asked anything beyond this. Okay, so th this is all about gamma function that you need to know for the purpose of net. So a small exercise. So in net exam they won't directly ask you the property of gamma uh, function, but it will come as some complicated integrals. So here are four integrals. Uh, what I request is that you make proper substitution and you convert it to gamma functions and you find its values and you please write your answer in the comments okay so this was all about gamma functions that you will ever need to know for the net exam okay so that that's it so this uh, as i said in my previous video i've decided to start uh, a minimalistic course for the net exam so all my lectures are going to be short and very precise and to the point and all directed and focused towards the net net exams there okay so if you're interested please watch my earlier announcement and uh, if you're interested just send me an email or uh, express your interest in the comment section and uh, apart from that uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this short lecture